Hello everyone and welcome back. Today's video is going to be located in the kitchen. We are going to be looking at a review of Elica Classic Flexi AB MFC 3B 70M. What is this you ask? It's the model number for our product which is a stop. And what does this model number actually mean? Classic, one of the series given by Elica. Flexi, hob top means hob as well as normal tabletop. AB means advanced brass. Only the burner is made up of brass MFC. And MFC means multi flame control. 3B means three burners. 70 is the width of the stove, 70 cm. It's from left to right. And now about the dimensions. The stove's dimensions are width 70 cm, depth 52.5 cm, and height 12 cm. The unique thing about this stove is that you can use it as both a tabletop and as a hob. The tabletop is what you would normally call stoves. You have something and you keep it on top of the table. The hob is like inbuilt, it's inside the workbench or the kitchen bench. Now, the unique thing about this is you can use it both ways, and to use it as a hob, you have to cut the granite. The with the measurements of the granite needed to be cut is with 66.5 cm, depth 48.5 cm and height, height 5.5 cm. For the exact measurements, you can refer the Elica hob manual which is present in the internet. Now, moving on to the parts of this very useful contraption. The first is the top finishing. It's made up of hard, toughened blackish glass which acts very well as a mirror even though you won't require it, but still. Second one is the burners. There are three of them. They are they're made up of brass coated with heat resistant black coating, which makes it easier to keep your stove more clean. Third is the spreaders. They are the surrounding rims. They're made up of cast iron. And also the grids or the stands holding the vessel. We call them push. The pushes are also made up of cast iron. There is also a spark plug to make the gas ignite. This stove has automatic ignition so you won't need a lighter anymore. Next, knobs. The knobs are the black colored round sized triggers. You can use them for auto ignition and flame adjustment like sim, simmering and on. Next is the gas nozzle. It's the inlet for gas. It's here to connect the hose from the cylinder. Next are the burners, there are three of them. The power of burners here is actually 4.0 kilowatts is one, 2.9 kilowatts is another, and 1.7 kilowatts is another. The battery compartment is for electrical automatic ignition, it's present inside the stove. Coming up next are the features. The brand Elica is an established one in kitchen appliances for the long time and we know some friends are using this so we decided to buy it. This is a flexi hob top model and we are using this on top because after cutting the granite, if we suddenly decide to change the model in the future, we are not sure that we can get the same dimensions to fit in that hob. Many people though, they use this as a hob and tell me it's more convenient, but I prefer this. This is a 3 burner model, this number of burners, it, it depends on the requirement and space. For us, we feel 3 burners are enough and also if we thought if 4 burners, it's a little difficult to work on all burners simultaneously since the gap between them is very less to keep big or wide vessels nearby. This model, I feel each burner is placed with adequate spaces between them, you can stir and toss your food with ease. Also, one of the reasons for choosing these models is the power of the burners. The power mentioned here in kilowatt is the measure of burning capacity and energy production. If higher the burner power, then higher the heat and lower the cooking time. We found in some models there are two burners with less kilowatt and only one is somewhat high kilowatt, but we, I found this model having a lot of this, so I thought this was good. This one was suitable for our usage 
So please check carefully the power of burners and its combinations while choosing your home. Now about the operation of the home. If you press the knob downward, then the ignition will stop. Rotate slowly to anti-clockwise direction, that is, left direction, to increase the flame. Further rotating to anti-clockwise direction goes to low flame, that is, sim or simmering. To cut off the flame and stop gas supply, you can rotate to the clockwise direction. I feel that this might be very very confusing, because a relative of mine once, they just pressed the knob downward and did not turn it. It was at the same time exhausting, frustrating and very hilarious. Now for the most important part, troubleshooting or rather maintenance. There are a few tips that I can give you. Most of them are about the cleaning. Not to clean when the stump is hot or the glass surface is hot. Avoid sudden cooling of heated glass with water or wet cloth. Because this might, you know, it might damage the stump. So it's better to clean in the morning before starting cooking. Do not drop any heavy objects on the glass surface. The glass is delicate so it might break. Do not let any over hot liquid on the glass surface. Most commonly milk, most times it spills on the stuff, so be careful not to do this. Try to avoid overflowing or spilling of that liquid from the vessel during cooking. It may also block or spoil the gas jet or spark plug. It's better to pay attention while cooking curry or boiling milk. Choline or any other oil residue cleaner is enough for surface cleaning, so you don't have to worry about your stuff being dirty all the time. If you find that the flame is less or you feel the gas jet is not working well, you can call the service person to troubleshoot in the proper way. Local stove repair persons might be a better choice for you, but I'm not sure how good they are at servicing these type of gas jets and spark plugs. Finally, I feel that this Elica Flexi Hop Top is a modern product. It's great for elevating the aesthetics of your kitchen as well. My personal opinion is that it has a sleek look which lends a contemporary look to your kitchen. Here is a step by step tutorial for how to clean your home without damaging it. First, let's remove the outer rings or spreaders. There are two grooves here which fit exactly onto the burner. So it will be useful to keep the outer rims in place. Now for the removal and cleaning. After the outer ring, the inner ring is composed of two parts. Lift them up together while holding them both. And place them aside and then you'll get to the bottom. Then you can clean whatever is required with Collins or any other oil residue cleaner. Then you can fit it. The inner ring also has something like a groove. You should fit it exactly to keep it in place for the and it's mainly useful for the burner to work now take the smallest part on the top and place it exactly in the middle now you finished your cleaning that you can set the outer ring on top that's it for today everyone, have fun cooking.